Already? I think the ammo crap started again. So yesterday I'm in our gun shop and I'm actually uh, was, well, I was updating some things on our website for customers. And um, a guy came in and said, hey, I need to get a case of uh, 223. And so I was listening. I was not behind the counter helping. I was listening. I was on the computer. And uh, the guy behind the counter, Bobby, hey, Bobby, good to see you, Bobby. Bobby said to the customer, well, yeah, I got a case of, uh, but I don't have 223. I have 556 over here. So he goes, well, I got a case of green tip 556. So um, the guy said, how much was it? And I think it was $450. I think what it was. $450 for a case of green tip 556. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Anyway, I'm listening. I'm working, but I'm listening. And um, so the guy says, well, I really want to get 223. It's a little bit cheaper. And so I said, hey, Bobby, I'll look it up here. Why don't you look up for, you know, one of the distributors there. I'll look up, I'll look up here. So I'm on my computer, stop what I was doing, logged into one of our distributor sites. And I went, I mean, literally internally, I went, oh, like, what just happened? We had only ordered ammo two or three days prior to this. So when I started looking, I'm like, oh, man, this is, this, this is a big deal. Um, I said, Bobby, what are you finding on your computer? So we're talking, and this guy's listening to us look for ammo. And uh, I said, I've, I've got what he wants, but it's costing us more to replace it than what we're willing to sell that for. And, I, and listen, the guy bought it. I sold him the rounds. Uh, I don't, I don't, we don't do that to people, right? It was the last thousand rounds of 556 five, green, green tip we had. And then I ended up replacing it. We bought several thousand more rounds. But we're sitting there looking at the ammo, and I turn around and I, I said, "Hey, Bobby, are you finding this on like several? I'm like, where are you looking to find this?" He said, "They're all like they're either all out or they've gone up." And I said, "What's you know what's the deal? What's causing this?" And I, and I had to tell the guy, "Say, hey, look, man, we're not trying to work you. Like, we really like this is this was not this way two or three days ago." And so, uh, you know, we did the deal. He walked out, and then Bobby and I started looking together on the, on the company computer up front. And I said, man, what, like, what's going on? Um, I, I haven't seen this at this, these prices in, like, months. Um, he says, I don't know. So uh, the only thing I can figure, I mean, there's, we, got, we got some scares going on, right? We got this thing in Ukraine. A lot of people are saying NATO has already gotten involved in this war with Russia. I don't know. Um, I know what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, and I know the rumors. I know several of our spooky friends, uh, spook friends. Man, I hope you're doing okay, buddy. Uh, can't get a hold of you. Hope you're watching. Hope you can. Um, but several of our friends who feed us information from Europe are dark. They've been dark now since March. March. Um, and so I know that there's something going on that's driving the price steadily up and the availability steady up because, uh, you know, last week, uh, three or four days ago, we were ordering. And what's today? Today's uh, today, the August. I mean, today's thirtieth, August thirtieth. Today's August thirtieth, twenty twenty-three. Um, so, just like three days ago, we were looking for ammo, and it was all there. Everything was available. Um, we still had ammo available, but limited brands, limited quantities, and a shortage on things that we would normally buy. So if you're looking at ammo again, I just did this in, in a, 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 another video. I don't know if it's manufacturing. I don't know if it's fear. I don't know if it's going to the Ukraine. I don't know if the government's buying it up. I don't know what's happening, but I can tell you this. that Something is going on with the ammo again, and uh, if you are one of those people who sat on your heels back there waiting uh, for God's sakes, go get you something. It looks like we may be having another shortage again. And uh, I'm going to end with a joke, all right? So a lot of people come in like, yeah, I got two boxes of ammo. I'm good, man. I got, I, 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 I'll be good for the Civil War. I got two boxes of ammo. Uh, I'm sorry. I find humor in my own stuff, right? I can't help myself. Uh, so I'll end with a joke. What do you call a redneck with 5,000 rounds of ammo? Anybody? See if you can answer below. Uh, I'll come back with the answer in some other video. What do you call a redneck with 5,000 rounds of ammo? Y'all have a great day. Please like and subscribe.